To watch all the videos on this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get regular updates from MomCom India. Let's become a big fat family soon. Hi everybody, welcome to MomCom India. Stop. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? If not, quickly click on the red button below and subscribe to get instant updates on whatever's happening on MomCom. Go! Okay, now let's talk about the topic. So the topic for today is uh, how to handle teething in babies. Oh my God, isn't that the most difficult uh, phase or stage of a baby's uh, life? You know what, when I thought that everything is going perfect for my baby, he's so settled now, happy, he has this routine, you know, life is just going great, you know, he's growing up, I understand him so well, boom, came teething when my entire world turned upside down. You know, he suddenly became very irritable. He would constantly want something. You know, he started getting up more in the night. And I'm like, what, what in the world is just happening to my baby? And like any other parent, I immediately rushed to the doctor to try and understand that what's happening and what do I do about it? Because anytime your child is, is not feeling well, it is an instant urge to get him the solution, right? But now here what happened here. I went to the doctor assuming that I'll get a solution to my baby's problem and the doctor is going to give me some medicine that will help my baby get through the teething phase. But fortunately or unfortunately, my doctor said that that's not something that we give medicines for. And I'm like, what do you mean? So the doctor said that teething is a natural process. Like teeth go, teeth come. So there's nothing that we can do about it. There is no medication that we want to give because it's so natural that you do not want to disturb the process with any medication. So I and my husband are like, then what do we do? So she said that, you know, just help your child through this process. Engage your child, keep the child busy. There are some home remedies that you could do about it, but we are not going to give any medicines around teething. Okay, with that said, we came back home, but parents being parents, there was always an urge to help your child. So here are a few things that we did to help our child through the teething phase. Number one, the first thing that you can do is wash your hands thoroughly and use a clean finger. And I will stress on the word clean finger because you do not want to infect your child with germs. So use that clean finger to press the gums of your baby. That will help soothe those troubled gums uh, and give your child some relief. That's number one. Number two is boil water, keep that uh, water in the fridge and let it cool uh, or be actually cold. And what you can do is take a clean washcloth, dip it in that cold water and press the baby's gums with that. You know, do you know that when, when our tooth get, gets extracted, doctors always suggest that have ice cream, have something cold. In a similar way, babies cannot have something cold, but this cold solution uh, works wonders for the baby and gives them a lot of relief. So that's something that you can do that really helped our baby a lot. Whenever he was like very irritable, we used to take this uh, cold water solution with uh, a clean washcloth and give some relief to his gums. So that's number two that we did. Number three, uh, some of you will agree to it, some of you will not agree to it, but guys, there is a homopathic medicine out there that is calcarea force. It's nothing but basically calcium tablets uh, and we all know that calcium aids in uh, development of uh, bones, teeth, etc. So, uh, you know, we initially had a lot of hiccup in terms of whether to give it or not to give it, but we heard the benefits of it from just so many people, so many from like all ages that we thought that this is something that has been going on from we don't even know when. So let's give it a try. So that's when we bought home a bottle of Calcarea Force. These are sweet uh, tablets. The dosage is two tablets in the morning and two tablets towards the evening. We generally give it to our child when he wakes up and before he goes to bed because that really helps him sleep through the night a little well and uh, his irritability is also less. So we saw a lot of difference when we introduced calcarea force to our baby. Not that, that he did not have pain or he was not irritable. That phase was definitely tough. He already has two lower uh, teeth now. But yes, uh, I think calcarea force reduced all the impact by at least like a 60%. So, you know, which is definitely 
good and such a big relief for a parent uh, the fourth thing that we did is that if your child is over 6 months then what you can do is you can keep cold clean carrot in the uh, fridge or you could keep cucumber uh, you know anything that's cold and give that to your baby so what the baby will do is he'll rub his uh, gums against that and that's also going to give your baby some relief so these are four things that you could do to provide relief to your baby now apart from this what you need to do is guys a lot of parents you know when i spoke to them that you know what's happening with teething and all of parents would say my child's you know having fever he's having diarrhea he's having loose motions and stuff like that uh but you know when i understood the root cause of that from my doctor i actually uh found it to be extremely logical so my doctor said that what happens in this phase is that the child wants to take anything and everything that is visible to the child and put it in his mouth you know because he's having that irritation and he cannot differentiate between what's dirty and what's not dirty so in that process a lot of germs get inside the child's mouth which leads to infection that causes fever and can also cause uh, diarrhea or loose motions that's when my doctor said but this does not happen to every child because they have mothers who do a full time job or caretakers who do a full time job especially in this phase of ensuring cleanliness around the child if you ensure that everything around the child is clean the toys that he is using or the things that he is putting in his mouth are cleaned every day and given to him the next day his surrounding is clean nothing dirty is getting inside his mouth you can actually uh get away from you know things like fever diarrhea loose motions because that actually has nothing to do with teething that has to do with the cleanliness around the child which is totally in your hands so if you want to avoid all of that then don't think about any medicines but actually think about ensuring cleanliness in your house uh so that was an important thing the other tip i would also like to give you is that because all of this happens and your child uh, child's tummy gets upset because of these germs entering your child's body a lot of children are able to fight that infection a lot of children are not able to fight that infection so what you could do a lot of parents do that is that you could give things like gripe water or colicate to your child uh, don't give it on a daily basis otherwise the body gets used to it but occasionally when you see that your child has some discomfort you could give that because that actually aids any disturbances that he's having in the stomach uh my doctor does not suggest gripe water and we bought a bottle but we never gave it to our child because we never like got strong recommendation for that uh but my doctor definitely has always been a promoter of colicate because it has no side effects on the child and at times when you feel the child is having stomach discomfort especially during teething it's a good idea to give a couple of drops of colicate and we've seen that it works wonders Uh so those were some of the tips on teething that I wanted to share with you because we get a lot of questions on what's happening with teething nothing major nothing big we do we do simple things that any parent should do at home uh in case you still have questions please let us know hope you like the video click on the like button subscribe to our channel because we need to be a big fat family at momcom india very very soon uh thank you for watching momcom